Here we have a very nice looking at 2007 Mercedes-Benz C220 Avant-Garde in a very light blue. Car is in nice condition for its age, as you'll see later on in the video. We start with the offside front tyre, you're looking at around a good 4mm of tread. Looking at the offside front alloy, a few little stone chips etc to the alloy itself. No signs of any curbing around the outside of the alloy, just some very light scuffs. Looking down the offside of the vehicle itself, paintwork looks very nice, no dinks no dents or any damage at all to the offside of the vehicle. Mirror is in nice condition. Looking at the driver's door itself, very clean. Um, can't see any signs of any scratches at all. No signs of any car park chips on the door edge. And overall the driver's door does look very nice. Sills are in nice condition. And there's no dents or any damage at all to the top of the roof. Looking at the rear door here, again a very nice condition with no marks or scratches and no chips down the door heads. So as you can see, it's a very nice look, uh, looked after vehicle. Offside rear quarters in nice condition. Look at the rear tyre, not a lot of tread at all there. Um, it's probably going to need changing ASAP. Uh, you got around two at the most. Looking at um, the offside rear alloy, again some minor little scuffs as you can see. No signs of any curbing though at all around the outside of the, um, the alloy there. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle. No dinks or dents on the top of the boot or to the back of the boot itself and nothing to the rear bumper, again a very nice condition. Rear parking sensors there, there is a couple of nicks and a couple of scratches on the back of the boot lid here and the, uh, the chrome trim you can see is looking a bit worn, but again nothing too serious at all. Like I said though, no signs of any damage. Quick look in the boot, you can see it's nice and tidy in the boot, nice big boot there. As you can see, um, it doesn't appear to be a spare wheel, it might be underneath. Um, you've got your locking wheel up there, but I can't actually lift that up. But nice condition nevertheless in the boot. Near side rear tyre, again, uh, not too bad to be found the near side rear, looking at around 3mm there. And look at the near side rear alloy, a couple of light little scratches you can see, again, but no signs of any curbing, which is great. Looking at the near side of the vehicle itself, Again, paintwood looks very nice, no dink, stents or any damage, no chips to the rear door edge or the front door edge, and again, both the sills are in nice condition there. Again, paintwood looks very nice, um, no signs of any scratches, etc. to the paintwork or to the mirrors, etc. Take a look at the front tyre, you've got a good 5 to 6 mil there. Look at the front alloy, you've got some minor curb marks, as you can see. Again, nothing too major there. Again, for its age though, nice condition. Front of the car now, you've got your front parking sensors. You can see it's a lovely colour to be fair, it's a really nice silvery blue. Um, a couple of stone chips required and touchings on the bonnet. But again, no signs of any damage at all to the front bumper, and the car does look very well. Take a look inside the interior of the vehicle. As you can see, it's full black leather, it is perforated in the middle. But as you can see, the leather looks immaculate, very well for its age. Uh, still feels brand new to be honest, um, no rips, tears, scratches etc. Back of the seats are in nice condition and even the carpet's nice and clean. So real nice condition in the back. Let's take a look in the front. And it's the same story guys, uh, holsters are immaculate as you can see. And the car does look very well, no rips, tears or scratches. And the same into the front passenger seat there also. Looking at the, uh, the dashboard etc, a nice aluminium finish. Very nice condition with no marks, etc. And this steering wheel is also in nice condition. As you can see, you get two sets of keys with the vehicle. If you step inside, you can see the mileage and the paperwork. Look at your mileage there 77,663 on the clock. And if we just get the car started, as you can see, starts first time and no problems at all. And there's no symbols appearing on the dash there that you need to wear off. As you can see, the flappy gears there behind the steering wheel. All multifunction works perfectly fine. Looking at your setup, you've got radio and CD. No problems at all with the sound, sounds great, and all the buttons function exactly how they should. As you can see, you've got heated seats as well, and they function perfectly fine. And looking down here, you've got your air conditioning, light indicator now it's on and off, and no problems at all with any of the blowers. Automatic transmission, if you take a quick look at the documents now. Looking at the V5, the car's had three owners, so that's three owners. 
Just coming from MOT certificate which ends here August 30th 2014. So still quite a few months left on that. And we do get full partial franchise service history. Feel free to pause this at any time to have a better look. First note 5. You've got 13, 24, 34 there, 42, a lot of Mercedes stamps here as well, 54,000 there, and 71, I do believe that's your last one there, 71,000 miles. So not that long ago serviced, around 6,000 miles ago, but plenty of service history on the car. There we go guys, it's the 2007 Mercedes-Benz C220 Avant-Garde, lots of features on the vehicle, and it's also spotless inside and out which is a bit needing a bit of a polish. Very nice car for its age.